Hi, uh, this is Igren and uh, I'm gonna give you a tutorial about how to develop block site using Microsoft Web Metrics. Uh, first you have to go to Visual Studio. They will get a folder called Microsoft Visual Studio and uh, here it is Web Metrics. Then just run it. Uh, you have four options here. Uh, either you can develop my sites uh, using your own custom templates. Uh, else uh, you can go for site from web gallery where uh, you'll get uh, Microsoft uh, WordPress and other uh, templates such as Drupal etc uh, on on net uh, and it, it will download automatically uh, else uh, you ha if you have site uh, template sites uh, on your uh, folder uh, on your PC then you can go for it uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, how to uh, install WordPress from net then you have to go to site from web gallery and uh, you have various options uh, for uh, like uh, which type of websites do you want like blog sites, CMS, uh, e-commerce, forums or galleries uh, I'm go, uh, let's go for our blogs uh, you have uh, wordpress here check out the latest one and it will only uh, download the latest click on the wordpress and uh, give the name of the site let's call it uh, iJunkie click next and it will automatically download from internet uh, the total size it, it, it is showing as 3.84 MB and I accept it uh, it is downloaded uh, if you if you have if you don't have installed uh, MySQL on your local system then it will uh, also download the uh, mysql to your system and install it uh, let's uh, create the database uh, let it be as localhost uh, database server then uh, change the name of the database for whatever you want now i'm gonna put it here as uh, ijink then uh, what would be the user let it keep it same as iJunkie and password 1 2 3 4 5 again I'm doing the same 1 2 3 4 5 and clicking on next actually I have missed something uh, database administrative password actually I have kept it as blank so I'm just entering spacebar I have clicked next and uh, it is start downloading uh, if it has not been da uh, downloaded then it will take a bit of time uh, installing my MySQL and WordPress as well WordPress is installed and uh, you'll, you'll get the link as this is the path of your website just click on that and it will open the folders and all the files are located here of your WordPress if you go to look if you want to look at uh, your site then click on the local host and the port address URL uh, here you have to configure your WordPress as uh, normally you do for your domain WordPress install I'm just giving the iJunkie name as a site name site title I'm keeping the username as admin now one two three four five as password one two three four five I'm just giving test password you can give your own uh, very complicated password so that it should not be easy to hack give your uh, email address as whatever you want now you have two option whether you let it be as default to be searched by a search engine and click on install now it's gonna install or uh, configuring con it's configuring all the uh, uh, important uh, configurations like uh, database name server uh, username password etc into the config.php file wp config file here the wordpress has been installed and you can log in through admin whatever we have given as admin and 
one two three four five now this is the part where you can configure the WordPress has been installed, installed and now you if you want to configure your WordPress uh, template themes etc then you can handle this through WordPress dashboard now that's a, this has a uh, site has been deployed a uh, site has been uh, deployed in local and uh, if you want it to make it uh, if you just want to check how site is looking at this is actually uh, taking the default theme you can change it any any time using dashboard I'll, I'll show you that in a different tutorial for now uh, now I'm gonna tell you how you can publish this on your domain you have option here publish just click on publish it will ask for server then a username uh, FTP username and FTP uh, password then whatever the domain is and where you want to locate uh, your WordPress such as domain dot com if you want to install your WordPress at domain dot com slash blog and after giving all these details just validate the connection and save once it has been saved it will show you an option to publish your site it will that automatically uh, send all these files installed uh, WordPress files to your domain server and your file your site will be live as it is so that's it for uh, this session uh, get back get back soon for the next session which will include the dashboard setting of WordPress thank you